All right, what I want to talk to you about <coughs> is equivalent fractions. Now, what exactly are you know equivalent fractions? Well, let's go and take a look at a half. And if I have a half, that's meaning my fraction is going to be split up into two separate parts, and I'm going to choose you know, one half of that. Well, an equivalent fraction would be, let's say the case, you remember when we're like adding and subtracting a lot, say, hey, you got to make sure if you're going to multiply your denominator by a number, you got to multiply the numerator by the same number. So that means if I was going to multiply let's say our, denom our denominator by 3 and our numerator by 3, well, what that's going to provide me is now 3 6. Now, is that going to be equivalent or not? Because remember, you've got to make sure you multiply your, your denominator and your numerator by the same number. If you do, you have equivalent fractions. So now, instead of breaking up my bar into two separate pieces, I need to break it up into six separate pieces. All right, then I'm going to select three of them. And what you guys will notice is 1 half is exactly the same as 3 6. So that's why when we're adding and subtracting our fractions, it's okay if we use equivalent fractions um, because they're exactly really the same. They just have you know, different denominators and numerators, but you can see that they are equal to one another. So let's take a look at another one. Let's take a look at 2 7 Again, if I just wanted to uh, write this as an equivalent fraction, I would just multiply it by the same number on the bottom and top. So 2 sevenths would now multiply by top and bottom would now become 4 fourteenths. So when I go ahead and write that out, 2 sevenths would look like this, broken up into seven parts, top two of them. Well, 4 fourteenths is now going to be broken up into 14 sections, which you can kind of count here as I write them in. And to select four of them, one, two, three, four. So you can see that my fractions are equivalent, even though they're broken up into you know, kind of selections, you can see that they're still going to be equivalent. So the main important thing when blunt fractions, you know, we kind of get them when we have to have one half plus one third. Uh, we have to make sure our denominator is the same and you know we multiply by that's not over each other, but we multiply by the same number on top and bottom. And the reason, because we need equivalent fractions. And what you guys can see is since I multiply by 2 over 2, um, 1 third is the same thing as 2 third, 2 six, I'm sorry, those are equivalent. Just as when I multiply by 3 over 3, 1 half is equivalent to 3 six. So that is just a basic little rundown of equivalent fractions for you.